In this video, we will be introducing you guys to the different styles of cardistry by briefly describing characteristics of the style and then showing you guys some archetypal moves of each style. We will then show you guys some of the smaller styles that emerged in recent years. Of course, this list is not comprehensive and not every move can be strictly categorized into one of these styles. There will also certainly be new styles to emerge in the future. Some people might even categorize the moves differently. But from our experience, these are prominent styles that we observe as of 2018. So the first style is aerials. Basically, any move that involves packets, single cards, or spreads flying in the air can be considered an aerial move. This style existed ever since people started throwing cards, but it was later popularized by the XCM community and still remains a big part of cardistry today. Next up are fans and spreads. As the name implies, this category includes any move that involves the cards being spread or fanned. The thumb fan and ribbon spread could be considered the first moves of this style, so its beginnings can't really be tracked down. But here are what some of the best fans and spread moves look like. Next up are one hand cuts. So these include any moves that are done with one hand and one hand only. The beginning of this genre can be traced back to the 19th century when the Charlier cut was first created. Here's what some of the best one hand cuts look like. Next up is the current most popular genre, two hand cuts. These include all moves that use two hands to cut the deck in any way regardless of whether single cards are used to add players. While shuffles like the Hindu shuffle and overhand shuffle could technically qualify as two-hand cuts, many people consider Sybil, which was published in 1992 by Chris Kenner, as the first two-hand cut. Here are what some of the best two-hand cuts look like. Then, we have structures, shapes, and displays. This includes any flourish where the move revolves around a display, structure, or geometrical shapes. Since there are too many moves that fall under this category, it is very hard to identify the first move, and so we can't really track down the beginning of this genre either. But here are what some of the best structures, shapes, and displays look like. Next category would be card twirls and flirts. These are moves that involve the twirling or flirts using single cards. The oldest card twirls were used in card manipulation routines to accentuate performances. The pioneer in this field would be Jeff McBride. Since then, fancier and more complicated card twirls have been created, and here are a few. From this point on, we are moving on to genres that were more recently created. The first would be isolations. These are moves that try to isolate an object. It could be a card, a packet, a finger, or even your hands, while moving other things. This style was first introduced to the cardistry scene by Justin Ye, also known as Jaspis, in 2010 in his video Starry Eyed. Let's take a look at some isolations from that video and later evolutions. Finally, the last major genre we will be covering would be interlocks. These are flourishes where your hands are stuck together or at least look stuck together due to how you grip the cards during the flourish. The first interlock that we know of is Broken Triangle by Aviv, which was first shown in his video Omega in 2011. So let's take a look at that move along with other great interlock moves.
Apart from the eight styles of moves we just discussed, there are also smaller styles that people do. Some, such as table work, are pretty old, while others like karsjoy, cavities, and tutting emerged very recently. I will be covering these styles in greater detail later on in this tutorial series, but for now, let's briefly take a look at some of these smaller categories of moves. Before ending this video, we wanted to emphasize one point. That is that when we discuss style in cardistry, it can refer not only to the type of moves you do, but also how you do the move. Different people can do the same move very differently, and being able to display your style even while performing the same move as others takes years of practice, refinement, and self-discovery. It's not something that we can just teach you here. Instead, you need to consciously think about what you want your performances to look like, how you want to represent yourself, and what kind of emotions or feelings you want your spectators to have. The clearest example we can give you is Aviv's Mockingbird compared to Andre's. Let's first take a look at Andre's. Here we see that he performs the move with great intensity. Then there's Aviv's. Here we see Aviv focuses more on flow and makes the move look effortless instead. Both styles have their strengths and weaknesses, so we can't really say which is better. But as you can see, different people's style can certainly show even while doing the same moves. And with that said, we conclude this video of introducing you guys to the styles of cardistry. Most people pick a couple and focus on those, but no one is forcing you to do anything. We just wanted to show you guys the different styles so you know how to categorize moves and so you know what's possible with cardistry. So don't feel like you have to pursue any specific one of these styles. Instead, just do what you like.